We begin today's yogasana session by standing in Tadasana with equal weight on both feet, knees locked, abdomen tucked in a little, spine upright, shoulders tucked back, back of the head in line with the spine. Hands down in Tadasana. We do just one round today of Om Chanting by inhaling fully. And as we do an Om Chant, we bring our hands into Namaskar Asana, also called Pranam Asana. We then bring our hands out at shoulder level and get our feet mat width apart if the mats are long. And exhaling completely, we make a, do a few twists. Inhale every time you come back to the center. We bring our legs a little closer now to do an, a leg overlap Kati Chakrasan. This is how it goes. Leg overlap Kati Chakrasan. We twist on the side where the leg is in front. We twist on the side where the leg is in front. This continue. Come back, legs together for Nadragasan, left arm is up, legs are together, hold the right knee, hold the right ankle, lunge in front for this balancing pose. Try to keep the heel a little away from the hip. And then take the feet further apart after returning. For toe touching, three cone asana. Feet are apart, hands are up at shoulder level, and you touch your toes. Continue. Continue. Last set. And then collect the legs to go into Adhamukha Shvanasana. Downward dog, also called mountain pose. For the runner's lunge, advanced students can do Kapal Bhati.
विजल बेन यू आर ऑन म्यूट We lie down and we lift our leg in Uttar Padasan one by one to drop them on the sides parallel to the arms at shoulder level. We now start twisting the head in the opposite direction too. Last set, and we come back. Pavan Muktasan now left leg is straight. Hug the right knee. Lift the head. Lift high. Make sure the knee is nice and close to the nose, and come back. Change, and come back. Both. And come back one more set. Change. Hold. And one more set. The other leg. Hold. Return. Interlock fingers under the head. Knees are bent. Feet are on the mat, and we drop the knees from side to side in Shavasana Asana, turning the head in the opposite direction. Continue. To return, lift up the hips a little. Get your palms on the mat. Hip, uh, hips are resting on the knuckles and legs are up at forty. Those who have knee problems, fifty. Sorry, back problems, fifty. And do a padanguli namaskar. Shetu Nama. Shetu Chakra. Soft knees. Reverse Shetu Chakra. Janu Nama. Janu Chakra. Reverse it. Discontinue the practice of Pavan Muktasan series one for a Pad Chalan walk. A pretty much semi-circular walk. This is for the abs. Pass an up in the air and come back to sit. Once we sit, we come into a Padmasana. Twinkle our fingers behind us. Lift the arms and go down to the knees. Nose to knee. Inhale every time you come up. Exhale every time you go down.
Make sure elbows are locked. And return. Open up the legs. Come into bent knees. Palms behind you. Khandarasan. Inhale, hips up. Exhale, come in. Also, the fourth to be then right. Last one, and relax, holding your wrist, head drop. Now come into Sukhasan to get ready for Shalabhasan. So we just lift our hips with palms rested on the mat, get our knees back and lie down for the locus pose Shalabhasana. Lifting as much as possible from the legs, arms, shoulders, all the way up to the thighs and the legs. And diaphragm at the upper body. Return. And repeat this time with a small walk. Return. To turn. And lie again, feet cable. Lie down on your back. For eight, part Parshva Pavan Muktasan. Interlock fingers. Come into Pavan Muktasan. Elbows are out. And let's go for it at a medium pace. Elbow to knee, bending the alternate knees. So, Khasan up in the air, come back, come back, to turn the left leg into Virasan and go down. Stretch well, lengthen your full trunk, your arms, block the shoulder elbows. Palms back, change sides. And return. Return to come into kneeling position for Parigasana. Go to the left edge of your mat, extend the right leg out, hold the right ankle, go over the head, go low. Return, come back, change. And down.
वे जान टू सिट इन वज्रासन विद नीज अपार पोषमान प्राणायाम Take the thumb out. Look up, Kokai, and do the panting breath pranayam. Restart in case you've taken a pause. Refresh and rejuvenate it with Sakshwan Pranayam. Do this one last time. Stick the tongue out. Do the panting breath pranayam. <laughs> and this continue. Return to collect the legs and sit with legs straight. Hands up in Danda. With legs straight, continue in this Dandasan position to go down into Paschimottanasan and up. So we were holding Tandasan for a few seconds, after which we went into Paschimottanasan and up. Correct. Very good. Discontinue the practice. Exhaling, bring the hands down, bend the right knee and hug it tight. Let's get ready for Mighty Asan. Where we now unhug, bring the right palm behind the left hip. Inhaling, lift the left hand up, elbow behind the knee. Twist well to the right. Twist well. Return to change sides. And come back with palms behind you for Shetu Asana. Inhaling, lift the hips high up, drop the head back. Return and repeat. Strengthen your forearms here. And return. Now, bend your left leg in, right leg in Virasan and extend the left leg out. Make sure you make a 90 degree at the ground. 
Very good. Inhale, lift the hands up. Go down halfway to stretch. Crawl your hands away. Drop your head. There itself, go and hook the toe and take your hand over the head. Hold the posture. Lock your elbows. Return to change. Inhale up, exhale down. Hook the door, go down. Further down. And return. Straighten the legs. Now that we've done Maliki Asana, this will be simple, but the effect will be completely different and dynamic, which is bend alternate knees from elbow to knee. Discontinue the practice. Hug your knees. Hold an elbow. Hold a wrist. We now go into other knockasen. By placing our forearms down on the mat and bringing the legs up to 45. Sukhasan so up in the air and we go for the plank. Both are for the abs. Strengthen the upper body, the lower body extremities, taut, tighten the abs. Adhamukha Shwanasan with one leg up now. Come back, the other leg up. Come back, knees down. And as you sit in Vajrasan, interlock fingers, bring forearms on the mat, bring pontinel on the mat, and lift the knees up after curling the toes. Knees down. Make, spread them apart. Bring a cheek on the floor, elbows covering the knees, and 
Cheek on the other side. And return. Collect the knees. For C. Garjanasan. Knees apart again. Palms are on the thighs. Look up, Kokai, to roar like a lion with the tongue out. <sighs> One more round. <sighs> Collect the knees now. Inhaling, lift the hands up. Interlock the fingers. Stretch. In this Vajrasana, with hands up in Parva, let's do abdominal breathing. When you inhale and inflate the abdomen like a balloon, Push your pelvic platform down. It will be easier than a Vajrasana. When you exhale, bring everything back to normal. Exhaling, bring the hands down. For Agnisa, again spread the knees a little apart. Palms are on the knees, elbows are out, and let's do it. Inhale fully. Exhale, come into a chin lock. Simultaneously pull abdomen in, apply the locks. And abdomen out, in, out, in. Three rounds. Agnisa. Hold the exhalation when moving the abdomen. After Agnisa, let's do something similar of pulling the abdomen in, which is Kapal Bhati. So let's get comfortable in any seated posture and start 108 Kapal Bhati. Advanced students, see if you can count in a reverse order. I'm at 80. How about you? I have 50 to go in a descending order. How about you?
Discontinue the practice after 108 and relax in Shavasana. Making sure that the chin is down into the chest. Stay in this amazing bliss of a rested body. Center yourself with your awareness on the center of the forehead, chin, sternum, navel, and pubis all being in one line. Keep arms slightly away from the side of the body. Palms, check them if they are facing up. Heels near, toes falling out, awareness on the whole body. For any kind of physical and mental fatigue, for any kind of tension, Guide, suggest, friends, family, staff, everyone to be in Shavasan this way. Especially for those who have sleeplessness, addictions, insomnia, anxiety, phobias, neurosis. Suggested to those who have stress-related diseases like asthma, ulcers, diabetes, peptics, colitis, angina, blood pressure, high or low, trachycardia, hyperthyroidism. Because it is this Shavasana that will help reduce physical, mental, emotional strain, stress, fatigue, to bring the BMR, the basic metabolic rate, the pulse rate, and the blood pressures back to normal. Since it gives total relaxation to the body, more so after having done yoga sanas, soothes the nerves and the mind, reduces blood, ba uh, reduces basic metabolic rates, balances pulse rates. With so many benefits coming from Shavasana, It's not a surprise how hundreds of thousands of people have healed and brought ease back from this ease. Awareness on the whole body. The whole body. The whole body.
getting ready to end the yogasana session. We lift the toes towards each other, collect the legs. Inhaling, we lift our arms up on the floor and stretch in opposite direction with a big angrai. Inhaling. Exhaling, we loosen ourselves. We bend our knee and turn to the opposite side. We bend the other knee and hug the knees so that we press the thighs into the abdomen. In a balasana, in a fetal position, in a side parshva pavana muktasana position to roll up in sukhasana. And as we roll up in Sukhasana and get comfortable again, we finish off with one round of Brahmari Pranayam. In Shanmukhi Mudra, we inhale fully. We plug our ears close and we make a humming sound exhaling. We slowly open our eyes after that and rise. If you wish, you can do a round of palming or do a sankalpa dedicating today's practice to a wish or a resolution or a purpose, repeating it three times mentally, smiling because it's going to surface and manifest, that's what the sages said. And then opening our eyes and rising for the day till we meet again. Thank you all. Hari Om Tatsa. Thank you.